Today we'll show you how to remove your bearings, disassemble your bearings, clean your bearings, and reinstall them. There's a couple of types of bearings and this instruction should allow you to clean most bearings. Now there's two ways to actually remove the bearings from the wheels, both depend on what type of space you're using. With the Sonic Pro tool you can actually remove both, both ways using either the bearing pusher or the bearing puller. I'm going to show you how to push the bearings out of one end of the wheel just by placing the pusher and extracting the bearing. The other way is when you're going to be using the short floating spacer, which looks much like this. With that, what you're going to do is actually take the tool and the puller, insert it in the side of the bearing, hook onto it, and pull it to remove it. Now that the bearings themselves have been removed from the wheels, we want to remove the shields from the bearings. There's always going to be two types of shields on the bearings. Both of them can be removed in almost the same way. First of all, the rubber shield that you'll see on most high-end bearings can be removed just by simply prying it out of its location in the bearing with a simple prying tool, in this case, a tack. Once you have that, you want to make sure to place the shield and the bearing aside. The other type to remove is your standard metallic shield bearing, which does have a C-ring. Now this is a small piece of aluminum that goes underneath the lip of the bearing. Take your prying tool and you want to make sure just to pry it just a tad which will loosen the bearing, the C-ring itself. This will come off with a little gentleness. You want to make sure to save that and then to remove the shield, just give the bearing a little tap on the ground. Now that we've removed the bearing shields themselves, we want to put together our tower of bearings just as Alice here recommends. I've gone ahead and done most of the work here for you so you can just see what the last few steps are necessary. You want to go ahead and put it together as I'm doing here. And then when everything is together, you want to place the actual tower itself in the cleaning unit. Put the cleaner inside of the cleaning unit. Close it up. And you want to make sure that you do swish it around to allow all the bearing juice and cleaner to get to all the bearings. You want to make sure to let that sit for about 30 minutes and make sure to give it a good periodic swish every now and then as well. All right, it's been 30 minutes. We've had ourselves a ham sandwich. We're going to go ahead, remove the bearings from the cleaner, and now they should be pretty clean. We're going to want to let us sit, sit and dry for as long as it necessarily takes, but what you can do is actually take them apart and allow them to dry a little bit better separately. We also, if you're going to plan on drying them by yourself, by hand, we do recommend using a non-absorbent uh, paper towel or cloth. And now that our bearings are clean and dry, we want to do the next important step, which is to re-lubricate them. Today we're going to be using Met Oil from Oust, which is what they recommend with their cleaning products. We do not recommend using WD-40, and what you want to do is just take the bearing itself, take your cleaner or your lube, place two drops in each section of the bearing, and then go ahead and replace your shields just as you remove them. And now that we have our bearings fully assembled and clean, we're going to put them back into the wheel. Put one end into one side, and then between the two bearings you always must place a spacer. In this case, we're going to be using a long sleeve spacer, and then you want to make sure to place the bearing on top of that, and give it a squeeze. This will insert both bearings in, and make sure that they're going to be snug and fit for skating. Let's recap. Step one, preparation. You want to gather your tools and use a non-absorbent surface when working. Step two, when you disassemble your bearings, make sure not to throw away any of the necessary shield pieces. Step three, when you clean, make sure not to use WD-40 and use only citrus cleaner. And step four, when you reassemble your bearings, do not forget to lube.